Hi everybody, my name is Kim and in this video we're going to be looking at how you can change the opacity over time on a layer. So the scene that we have here is of this racing car that's kind of coming out of the smoke towards us and then revealing a character inside of it. So in this specific panel over here you can see we have a sort of filter in this case a solid layer of color over the character as he emerges towards us which makes him look a little bit ominous. We want to be able to sort of create this effect where this layer becomes more transparent over time which will just make the scene look a little bit more believable in terms of him emerging from this atmosphere or the smoke or whatever it is that we're looking at him through. So we're going to start by changing the layer over here back to 100% so that it is a solid layer. And then we're going to go to the point in the panel where we want to put our first keyframe for the opacity. In this case it'll be the first frame of the panel. An easy way to get to the first frame of a panel is to press home on your keyboard. So we're going to add our first keyframe now, which is going to be a completely solid opacity keyframe. We're going to go up here to the layers, make sure that the layer is selected that you want to add the keyframe on. And we're going to press this little plus button over here, which is next to the layer opacity. That is going to add a keyframe. Then we're going to go to the next frame that we want to add the 0% keyframe on. And another easy way to do this is to press end on your keyboard. It will automatically take you to the last frame of a panel. And we're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to go back to our layers, press plus next to opacity and turn this one to zero. And now we're going to play our panel and see what it looks like. And that actually looks great. That's exactly the effect that I wanted. He still looks super ominous coming out of that smoke or debris or whatever it is he's coming through. And you can see that there's a nice transition between the 100% and 0% opacity on the layer. Now if you ever want to delete an opacity keyframe on a panel, again make sure that you have the layer selected that has the keyframes on it. And you'll see that there's arrows on either side over here and if you click one of those arrows it'll either take you backwards through your keyframes or forwards through your keyframes. And then whenever you're on the keyframe you want to delete you just press the minus button and it deletes the keyframe. And that is how you animate opacity over time on a layer in Storyboard Pro 20.